good example of one of about 10 to a dozen or 15 races or so in the House of Delegates that could determine who controls that very important chamber. People are generally, you know, interested in the race. Delegate Rodney Willett, the Democratic incumbent. The excitement level, the engagement level is so much higher. Mary Margaret Castleberg, the Republican challenger. Henrico's 73rd House District, based off voting trends, listed as the most competitive race for a House of Delegates seat this year. I have run as a Democrat, yes, but a moderate Democrat. You know, someone who's pro-business, but also progressive on, you know, the environment, health care, and education. I've demonstrated pretty clearly that I make up my own mind. I'm not going to outsource thinking for myself. This is a rematch of 2019 when Willett won the seat by five points. Democrats control the House, 55 to 45 right now, and a handful of suburban districts like the 73rd could decide which party seizes power and passes their priorities. There's nothing bipartisan about Rodney Willett. Mary Margaret Castleberg proudly defended Donald Trump. It's why your TV has been flooded with ads like these. I have never seen in the decades that I've been watching Virginia politics so many House of Delegate candidates who have raised over a million dollars for an $18,000 a year job. Um, it is just stunning uh, to see the amount of money, which again tells us how the parties view the stakes in this race. More spending means more attack ads. Castleberg calls Willett's ad about her social media post during the January 6th Capitol riot false saying he distorted her words, Willett stands by it. I'm not going to do anything to get elected. My opponent has gone there, and he's very comfortable with that. But to still use Trump, a Trump expression to say, yeah, there's blame to go around here, that, 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 that's a Trump expression. What both candidates seem to agree on, in the handful of districts like the 73rd that may decide the House of Delegates, voters' views of the past two years of Democratic control will likely carry the day. The Texas legislation related to, to abortion uh, bans um, that has really motivated voters. I've had folks who before who were a little ambivalent about having to go through another election say, um, I'm really concerned about Virginia. Bring some common sense and accountability back to the equation. With one party control, there's really no balance. There's no opportunity for input. There are several key races like this one around the Richmond suburbs. If you haven't done so yet and you need to still do your research, you can consult our WTVR.com voter guide. It is up and ready to go right now.